Ooh, ooh, boy, there's quite a story on this record. I'm gonna, I want to get this down, but uh, I want to, I, I really want to get this down. Well, let's start from the top on this record. At number 13, up one from 14, eventually it'll go top, it'll go top 10 on my fancy playlist. Pat Benatar's Love is a Battlefield. Fancy playlist November 20th, 1983. First off, boy, we some great songwriters wrote this record. Mike Chapman. <laughs> Mike Chapman, who teamed up with Nicky Chan, Chan and wrote those big hit records by Sweet back in the early to mid 70s, Ballroom Blitz, Lil Willie. And uh, with Nicky Chan, Mike Chapman, you might remember a song that they, that they, these two guys, they wrote a song called Living Next Door to Alice. Anybody remember that song? It was done by a group in Australia in 1972, but it was made into a bigger hit by a group called Smokey in 1976. Did quite well here in the States. They wrote Kitty, which eventually became Mickey. Nicky Chen and Mike Chapman wrote Kitty, which eventually became Mickey, done by Tony Basil and B-A-S-I-L back in 1982. Well, he co-wrote this song. Love is a Battlefield, Mike Chapman, renowned producer. Now, songwriter wrote it with Holly Knight. Holly Knight of the group, she was up and coming as a songwriter in the early 80s. In 1980, she had a fabulous record, fantastic rock and roll record, one of the best. New Romance. She was in a group called Spider. It came out with New Romance late spring of 1980. Only got as high as number 39 or number 40 on Billboard. If any, probably the biggest takeaway from this video, I don't know how to explain it. The biggest takeaway from this video that you can get, listen to New Romance by Spider. It was, it was a fantastic hit. Well, it should have been a big hit. And uh, she was also in a group called Device. And they had a hit. Wasn't very big, though. Went to number 35, 36. Summer of 86, around summer of 86, Device. Holly Knight and Device doing Hanging on a Heart Attack. Well, they teamed up and wrote this song, Mike Chapman. And uh, Mike Chapman and Holly Knight. Bef they were getting together. They got together, I believe it was at Mike Chapman's house, when Mike Chapman and Holly... Ollie Knight got together to write songs. Pat Benatar calls Mike Chapman. And she says, Mike, I'm working on a new album. Can you write me a hit song? And Mike Chapman goes something like, Well, I'm sitting here with Holly Knight. We're about to write some songs, so <laughs> we'll write one for you. And uh, Holly Knight, after the phone call, Holly Knight, she came up with this great chorus. She was playing this great chorus. Mike Chapman goes, man, that is great. I love that chorus. It's, it's, it's commercial. It's catchy. Let's do something weird with it. Let's do something to make it special. So he starts free associating. He comes up with Love as a Battlefield. And they wrote the song. Now, here's the thing about this record. Mike Chapman and Holly Knight, they wrote this song as a ballad. A slow record. That was the five. To fully capture the vibe of this record, it had to be slow. But when it went to Pat Benatar, her husband, well, yeah, she married him in 1982. His name was Neil Dorado. Guitars with the band, with Pat Benatar's band. He started producing for Pat Benatar. He became, he became her producer. He listened to the demo. That Holly Knight and Mike Chapman had assembled, or well, listened to the demo. He thought, Neil Dorado thought the song was too slow. This is boring. Man, it's just too slow. Why can't this song be up tempo? Therefore, Neil, Neil Dorado, he makes a up tempo record or sort of a dance record, a techno dance record, a little bit of rock and roll in it, just, well, basically up tempo fast record and when when Holly Knight and Mike Chapman when they heard it when they heard what Pat Benatar did to the record they were horrified Mike Chapman he goes off on Neil Mike Chapman goes off on Neil Dorado he says man you ruined this record this, this is just terrible 
I'm taking this song back. You're not having this this record. But when they when Mike Chapman and Holly Knight, when they when they realized how big a hit Love Love is a Battlefield had become, as produced by Neil Dorado, Dorado, well they they came around to it somewhat. The record company didn't like his version either. They didn't like Dorado's version either. The record company was like, what's the deal with this record? I got a quote. What are you doing? What's up with this this loop, weird loop? What's up with that? And the drum machine. What, what What's up with this drum machine? Why are you using a drum machine? What the hell you done with this record? And, my, and Neil Dorado, he fought. And he fought. And he fought with the record company. He said, this is a hit. This is a well-arranged record. This is going to fly. And eventually, he, he wore the record company down. The record company put it out. And it goes to number five on Billboard's Hot 100. Going Now, this record it is more slick. It is more commercial than some of Pat Benatar's rocking records. I mean, she had that... The anger, heartbreaker, feistiness, heartbreaker. We live for love. One of her best ones. She she hit those highs. She she was like an opera singer on that record. We live for love. Check it. Listen as she gets into a course of that record. And uh, promises in the dark. Another hard edge record by her. One of her best. You better run, boy. She covered that rascal's record really good. Pat Benatar did. Well, she's up to number uh, thirteen on my fancy playlist with "Love Is a Battlefield." Uh, fantasy playlist, November 20th, 1983.